Jack. Neil. All right. Uh, I want to talk to you about speed versus acceleration. I knew one day we were going to have to have this talk. <laughs> it's a... <laughs> <laughs> Sit down, Chuck. <laughs> Chuck, I need to I need a word with you. <laughs> Son, I've been meaning to talk to you about speed versus acceleration. You, you're of age now where this is the time. <laughs> Don't worry, there's nothing to be embarrassed about. <laughs> so, there there's a nice scene, nice. There's a, fa a rememberable scene in the movie Top Gun where they just came out of their out of their planes and they're holding their helmet and what what does one of them say to the other as they high five each other I've got the need for speed <laughs> okay <laughs> I thought it was I feel, <laughs> I feel I feel the need for speed and I want to push back on that if I may uh okay you want to push back on the need for speed yes I am oh no cuz I claim that their speed is almost irrelevant to what it is they're, they're, that's triggering their emotions. Really? Yeah, yeah. Uh, because, for example, right now, uh, at our latitude on Earth, the mm -hmm. rotation of Earth is carrying us due east at 800 miles an hour. Do you, are you saying, I feel the need for speed and this is great? No. You, well, you that may explain why I keep throwing up every <laughs> time right? I every time I stand up. It you could can't... be a reason why I vomit. So no, but say, see, I'm about to say that what we think of as motion sickness is not motion sickness; it's acceleration sickness. Okay. Okay. So Earth is in orbit around the sun, 18 miles per second. That is, all of these speeds are way faster than anything they're doing in their airplane. This is true. So if they're not really after speed. Wow, 18 miles in a second. In a that second. I, one I, second. From, from my house, I would overshoot the Bronx. I mean, you, no. Uh, yeah. I would overshoot Brooklyn from yeah, where yeah, I am yeah. right now. You'd end up in Long Island Sound. I right. would. I, oh, wow. <laughs> okay. In one second. <laughs> okay. So you, you live in Jersey. You, you cross the Hudson River, the width of Manhattan, That's all right. of Brooklyn, and then all you come out the, and come out the other the side. Water. Oh, my God. All right. That's amazing. So here's the thing. When you are moving at constant speed, your body has no idea you're moving at any speed at all. Okay. It's only when your speed changes that you get some sense of motion. And by definition, when your speed changes, it's an acceleration. Now, in, in, my, in physics, an acceleration can be positive or negative. In, in, in the English language, we have another word for when it's negative acceleration. And it's just called what? Deceleration. Deceleration. Okay. Right. So, so I might say acceleration in this in my next few minutes. I mean increasing or, or decreasing. decreasing. It, does, so it doesn't it's matter. Either positive or negative. Acceleration. Acceleration. Okay. When that happens, you feel it, and that's what you're reacting to. All right. By the way, think of velocity. Okay. So a velocity, a change in velocity is an acceleration, but and a velocity has a direction. Right. But suppose you're banking a turn. Your direction is constantly changing. Well, if velocity has to have one direction, now I'm changing the direction. That's also an acceleration. So here's my point. When you're in a moving object, no matter its speed, if the direction or the speed changes, you are accelerating. And when you feel an acceleration, your body is going to respond. If you accelerate forward, your body will be thrown backwards. If you, if you decelerate quickly, your body goes forward. If you bank a turn, you lean against the door or against the person next to you in the front seat. So that's how you know you're accelerating because your body is respons res responding in this way. So these folks said, I feel the need for speed. It's because they're doing barrel rolls in their plane and upside down and all the stuff they're doing. That's what they're feeling. But if they were going perfectly at Mach 1, 2, 3, 4, or 30, they wouldn't be saying, I feel the need for speed. 
because that's not anything they would notice. This has been the complaint about the Lexus car when it first came out. The Lexus was a, you know, a luxury car and that ride was smooth. I read one commentary and it said, it's like sitting on your living room couch while you're driving your car. Mm, that sounds lovely. <laughs> okay. So nobody who feels the need for speed is buying a Lexus. They want a car that can bank turns and, and go from zero to 60 in whatever how many seconds you're talking about. That's an acceleration. Yeah, but it doesn't sound good to say, I feel the need for acceleration. <laughs> it's a celebration of acceleration. Now I just sound like Jesse Jackson. It's, you know, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. It's because my man rhymes anything that comes right. out of his mouth. <laughs> celebration of acceleration. <laughs> keep, hope, keep hope alive. <laughs> Okay, so so that's all I'm trying to tell you. So that's why the, the, they will give top speed when you're buying a car. They will give a top speed, um, but they will also give zero to 60 or zero to 50 in a certain amount of time. So that is the change in velocity over a certain amount of time. And the, so if you change velocity in less and less amount of time, your acceleration is higher and higher and higher. That's why they keep trying to drop the acceleration time, then it's more head. It's more head snapping. Now, All right? Yeah. Now, right, That's let's why take everybody up loves enough. Tesla. Well, oh, because well, it's high. It would be, it'd be true for any well-made electric car. Will have very high acceleration. Yeah. Even at, even at low speeds, right? Teslas can accelerate zero to sixty in three four seconds. Right? Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, and I've been in it, and you can feel it. It's like. Mm, yeah. Okay. So, okay. So now, watch. Let's kick it up a notch. You ready? I don't think you're ready. Are you seated? Okay. All right. I'm seated. Okay. There is. In. Hold the... on, because I don't want to accelerate too fast. I better, I better strap in. <laughs> okay. So if acceleration is the rate of change of your velocity, okay. So if that if you rate changes quickly, you have high acceleration. You will feel this response all the more. Okay. All right. If acceleration is the rate of change in your velocity, what happens when you have a rate of change of your acceleration? Oh my goodness. Let me guess. Your head explodes. Yes, well, <laughs> okay. So if you have a rate of change of acceleration, that has a term in physics, it's called the jerk. Okay? All right, so, <clears throat> so watch. <laughs> Oh, man, okay. that's great. Okay, so watch what happens. You ready? Go ahead. Um, so uh, I'm headed towards a brick wall. <laughs> I'm trying to come up with these examples on the spot. Headed towards a brick wall. And so I should put on my brakes. So you put on your brakes, okay? And while you put on your brakes, you feel yourself, you're leaning into the, the shoulder strap, okay? When you hit the wall, your body jerks forward because you had a steady slowing down of your speed until your speed went to zero instantly. So that is a rate of change of your acceleration and then you feel a jerk. Uh, okay, but what? why do we run into a wall? <laughs> okay, so the jerk is what actually does sort of musculoskeletal damage in an accident. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, because we, we can sustain an acceleration. Right? When they say I have one G, two G, those are pure constant accelerations. But if you go from one G to six Gs in an instant, your whole body snaps. Right. That's this, and so the and jerk the same is thing what- in reverse. And okay. the same thing reverse, correct. Gotcha. So what you're basically saying is, jumping out of a 20 story window doesn't kill you. That's correct. <laughs> It's, it's the ground that does the, it's, the, it's the ground. It's the, if there were no ground, right. you'd be fine. You'd be fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So, so that's uh, velocity, uh, acceleration, and jerk. So almost every, and, and there's some cars they say, in this car, you can feel the road. If you ever test drive like a sports car, they tell you that, right? Well, what does it mean to feel the road? Well, if the, per if the road were perfectly smooth, you wouldn't feel anything. So the fact that the road has certain bumps, 
The Lexus wouldn't feel those bumps because the tires are adjusting to it. But your right. sports car, which has, quote, rigid suspension, it is rigid enough so that you're feeling that. All right. So you and the road and the bumps and wiggles and the turns and twists on the road, you're feeling it all. Nice. You feeling it. And so you so this is what you like. This is what you seek. This is what the sports enthusiast is actually after, even if they're not self-conscious of it. Because if they only wanted high speeds, you can just get on a, you know, get on a high speed train and then you don't feel it because they're smooth. No, you want to you want to bank the turns and feel it. That reminds me of a, a guy on the I was on the turnpike and a guy comes by on a motorcycle and he's already I'm doing 80. So he had to be doing a little faster than 80 because he came by me and then he pulls back on the throttle and pops a wheelie at 80 miles an hour Whoa. and pulls off. Okay. So, <laughs> and, and, I, and I'm pretty sure he was like, I feel the need for acceleration. <laughs> <laughs> and with the high accelerating cars, of course, a constant acceleration is a, is a one-time thing. By the way, you either press yourself back or forward or lean one way or another, and any abrupt change in that uh, creates this this jolt uh, but even if you if you're if you're going at zero and then you floor it there is the initial head snap okay that's a very high moment of acceleration but then you stays that way until you like hit the brick wall and then you snap in another way so anyhow i just put i'm just putting all this out there in case you didn't know so uh all i can say is please take neil's word for everything he just said Let's not try the brick wall experiment for ourselves, okay? We're not responsible for anybody who crashes their car into a wall, all right? Just take his word for it. All right, there it is once again, Chuck. You heard it here, and I'm Neil deGrasse Tyson, as always. Keep looking up. <laughs>